This video uh, will be solving question number one of Canadian Professional Engineering Technical Examination, which was held in December 2019. And this is on the request of a, an engineer who, after about 10 years, is trying to appear for this exam. So let's see. This is the question. For the circuit shown in figure, calculate the equivalent resistance of the circuit RAB at the terminal AB. So this is terminal AB. So we have to calculate the equivalent resistance. So this is part one. And then part B is when a 50 volt DC source is switched at AB. So this source is connected. Solve for the voltage V1 at the location shown. So we have to find the voltage at this point. So the first part to calculate RB, we have just taken this part of the circuit. And you can see this is uh, a very a simple delta Y conversion circuit. Uh, either we convert this Y into delta, or we can convert this delta into Y, or we can convert this delta into Y, or we can convert this delta into Y. So I find it to be easy to convert this Y into delta. So the first point I have done, I have marked point A, B, and C for our reference. And then we'll be using this conversion table. Uh, I've only noted down uh, how to convert from Y to delta. So these are the values given. You can see this is Y and these are the deltas. So we'll apply that here. So this is, from here you can see ZC. This is ZA and this is ZB. Actually, the point opposite of like A, opposite of A is ZA, opposite of B is ZB and opposite of C is ZC. Okay, and now we will use this formula to calculate the values. Let's see that. The first one, ZA, you can see it is Z1, Z2 plus Z2, Z3 plus Z3, Z2. So putting this value Z1, Z2, Z1 multiplied by Z2 plus Z2, Z3. So this is Z2, 10, and this is Z3. 10, so 10 by 10. And the third one is Z3, Z1. This is Z3, 10, and Z1 is 5. And divided by, for ZA, we'll just take the opposite arm. That is Z1. Opposite of this is Z1, sorry. Opposite of ZA is this. Term. So we'll divide that by Z1. And the answer we get is 40 ohm. And now you can see for ZB and ZC, the denominator is same. Uh, sorry, numerator is same. Only denominator is changing. So we'll also write here 200, and the denominator should be Z2, which is 10 ohm. So the answer is 20. And similarly for ZC, it is the denominator is same, and the denominator is Z3 which is 10 ohm, so this is also 20. So now our equivalent circuit will be like this. ZA 40, ZB 20, and ZC 20. Okay, now if you look carefully, these two are in parallel. Similarly, these two are in parallel at the same point. And these two are also in parallel. Solving them in parallel, I hope you know the formula. So I'm just showing one. 12 parallel 20 is 12 into 20 divided by 12 plus 20 is 7 point. So this will be 7.5. Same way, 40 parallel 20 will be 15.38. And 20 parallel 20 will be 10. So our circuit will now look like this. We're just merging these two, 
merging these two 15.38 and merging these two parallel is 10 ohm. And now if you look carefully, although this is a separate point B, but actually these two are in series because same current is flowing through here and here. And so from here we can redraw it like this, adding these two will be 20.88. So now these two are in parallel, so solving them in parallel, uh, we get 6.96. 10 and 22.8 will give us 6.98 redrawing it neatly so this is our uh, circuit and adding them we get the equivalent value so rab is 10 plus 6.96 16.96 ohm so i didn't add these just because in the next question we have to use uh, uh, to find voltage here So the next part, again, we have to connect the voltage source. So we connect uh, with the circuit, the equivalent we have calculated like here. We have to find the voltage V1 here, find voltage V1. So we connect the powers, 50 volt. And now this is simple, a voltage division circuit, 50 volt divided in between these two resistances. So we'll use the VDR, 50 divided by total resistance multiplied by 6.96 uh, is 20.52 volt. Now whenever I have time at, and I don't have an uh, uh, answer given, I try to verify it to a simulator circuit and this is faster simulator, very easy, very convenient to see. I've just connected the same circuit with 50 volt and you can see the voltage with, at this time is 20.517. We have got 20.517 actually, but we have just rounded up to 20.5. So I hope you have been able to follow this. Thank you.